My name is Tyler Bragginson, and I'm an Applications Manager for Hawkridge Systems. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of the tools at your disposal, 3D Content Central. You may have stumbled upon 3D Content Central either on the internet or right here from inside SOLIDWORKS in the design library. What is 3D Content Central? It's a website where over 1.3 million users go to share their 3D models of parts and assemblies that you can incorporate into your designs. Many of those users are direct suppliers putting their components online for us to download. Let's take a look at my model of a drawer. This drawer needs to fit into a desk I'm working on. To make sure it fits correctly, I want to go ahead and add some hardware, such as the drawer slides. Rather than taking the time to model up the drawer slides myself, I'll utilize 3D Content Central to go and find the correct hardware. I can navigate to 3D Content Central right here from inside SOLIDWORKS. It's broken up by supplier content from the manufacturers or user supplied content. I'll choose supplier content. Then I can choose whether I want to look by category or by the suppliers themselves. If we choose to look by category, this will open up 3D Content Central's category listing. Within the category list, there's over 300 different categories from motors to electrical hardware to all sorts of other components. Rather than searching through this entire list for drawer slides, I'll utilize the advanced search functionality and just do a simple search for drawer slides. This will narrow it down to all the drawer slides within 3D Content Central, over 101 results. I can scroll through the list until I find a 16 inch drawer slide. Here's one from TCH. I'll click on the component, which will give me a nice preview and some more details on the actual part. The 3D preview is powered by eDrawings, which means I can actually rotate and take a look at this model completely in 3D right here from the website. If this is the part I'm after, I can go ahead and configure it. Any component that has multiple configurations or size variations will have the ability to configure it. I can choose for this one if I want it to be in the extended position or the collapsed position. I'll choose extended. Next I can even specify what kind of file format I want. Am I looking for a 3D file or just a 2D block? I'll stick with 3D and you can see that I can not only download in SOLIDWORKS but all sorts of other file types as well. That means you non-SOLIDWORKS users are still welcome to use 3D Content Central. It will require you to create a login, but don't worry, it's completely free. All it asks for is your email address. I'll choose a SOLIDWORKS part and assembly, and then I can even specify which version of SOLIDWORKS I'm using so I don't end up with a future version error. Then I can go ahead and download the file. Once it's ready for download, just click on the part number and your download will begin. Let's take a look at this model. If I look inside the zip folder, I can go ahead and open it up the SOLIDWORKS part. You'll notice that this came in as a part rather than an assembly. That's because it's been defeatured. So rather than giving me the history of how this part was built, I just see imported bodies. Hence, FeatureWorks opening and asking if I'd like to proceed with feature recognition. I don't necessarily need to see the tree since I'm only using this for fit, so I can go ahead and say no. Now I have the extended drawer slide. I can simply put this into an assembly and use it in the extended position to make sure that the drawer opens all the way. If you want to go one step further, you can actually split out the three bodies here into individual parts and create an assembly and use a few mates to make it function like a real slide. I've gone ahead and done that already and put it into my desk. Here you can see my drawer slide is attached to the drawer and to the desk and because it's a flexible assembly, I can actually open and close my drawer and check for functionality. Looks great. With 3D Content Central, I can easily add components such as hardware, like drawer slides, to my models without spending the time of modeling my, them myself. Take the time to explore 3D Content Central and see what you can find that will help you in your designs. Today we took a look at 3D Content Central. Thanks for watching.